Hi everyone, so today I'm making chocolate lava cookies. So let's start. As usual, I'm going to start off with white sugar and raw sugar. Today we've got two different types of sugar. And I'm also going to put some butter in. And now I'm just going to blend it until it's light and fluffy. So now it isn't really smooth, so I'm going to add my egg and also vanilla and just blend it until uh, for three minutes until it's nice and smooth and put a drop okay i'm just gonna blend it all together so now it's almost smooth i'm gonna add my nutella i love nutella so i'm gonna put it all in and blend it for another minute Okay, so I'm just going to blend it now. Mm. I love Nutella. Okay, so now my mixture is nice and smooth. I'm going to add my chocolate chips. Uh, I mixed white chocolate chips and also um, normal chocolate chips, as you can see. Um, but if you want, you can add uh, either white chocolate chips or um, just uh, normal chocolate chips. I'm gonna pour them all in. One blend quickly. My chocolate chips are mixed together. Here I've got a sifter and some bicarbonate of soda. So I'm gonna put here oh, one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Okay, I have a teaspoon of baking powder. Okay. So I'm gonna take my sifter. I'm also gonna put cornstarch in just after I put my flour. And I'm also gonna put some cornstarch with it. Okay and just sift it all together. Now I'm gonna blend it for 10 seconds. I'm gonna give it one quick mix first. I have more Nutella on my hands. So it's a thick mixture. I'm just gonna continue with my spatula. I'm just gonna give it a mix. So here I've got my mixture and here I've got a, a cupcake tray. 12 um, cupcake trays with some fl flour and oil too so it doesn't stick when we take it out of the oven and I've also got an ice cream scooper here so I'm gonna scoop it out and I'm using this uh, for it like to be all the same size so I'm gonna just flatten it out okay and I'm gonna put it in each one and get back to you. So the final step before we put it into the oven, here I've got 50% chocolate. If you want, you can use any, any type of chocolate you want. So I'm gonna break this into squares. Oh, uh, this is hard chocolate. Oh my God. Uh. Finally, okay. So now with my thumb, I'm just going to push it in, in, not fully in, but just like half, medium way in. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes and check after, it for, uh, after 10 minutes. These were in the oven for exactly 12 minutes. Don't put it too long, uh, longer than that. And then we took it out and left it to cool for another 15 minutes. And then we just flip the whole tray over and just flip them back. Oh, they look uh, epic. These might be the best, uh, the most yum and yummiest food I've ever made. So I'm just going to take one. Oh, look. Look at that melted chocolate. Okay. 
Mmm. Is this taste amazing? And melted chocolate is so good and I and also the top's crispy and the inside so not like too soft or too hard. Um Oh that melting chocolate tastes amazing. I thought fifty percent was too like darkish for me and the taste would be strong. But actually when it's melted for me it's really good. Mm. Bye.